welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Josie, welcome to my channel. So today, well right now, we're in Chinatown in Bangkok. But today we're on the way to Ayutthaya. So I've never been there before. I'm going to show you what it's like. But first, if you can see that, it's starting to rain and it's pretty much monsoon season here. So we're going to pop into 7-Eleven and grab some essentials for the rain because I think we're going to have a really rainy day. So let's go 7-Eleven and then let's head on to Ayutthaya. So we're just getting our ponchos. I get yellow because it's my favorite color. So we're getting them from 7-Eleven. Hack if you are in Thailand, it rains. 7-Eleven have little ponchos. I think they're like 20 baht. And an umbrella. <laughs> okay, so you can catch a train. Most people will catch a train from Bangkok to Ayutthaya and then catch a tuk-tuk basically from the train station to wherever you're going, which is what we would have done, but it was meant to be a monsoon today. <laughs> so we ended up taking a car just for, you know, a little bit quicker, a little bit more convenient. Um, and it was supposed to rain. So we didn't really want to be out in the rain for the whole train trip and the tuk-tuk. Um, but it actually hasn't rained yet. So we did get that umbrella and we have ponchos. So just in case it does, we are expecting it to. But here we are, we are in Ayutthaya. If that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? It's a town that I don't think we'll ever be able to pronounce the name of correctly. Okay, well for the rest of the video I'm calling it Ayutthaya. So tell me in the comments how to say it properly for next time. But we're here, we're going to look at some old ancient like monuments, buildings, structures today. And of course we have to get some street food and some Thai food from, from, local, food. from local food. Some local food from Ayutthaya. So let's go. So the first capital of Thailand was actually Sukhothai, which was about 800-ish years ago. And Ayutthaya was built not long after, I think about 50 years later, it became the capital. And it was the capital for about, what, 400 years? 400 years. 400 years. So the buildings that we're going to see today and the buildings that you'll see are like 700 plus years old? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. So there's just ruins and you can see the original like buildings. Well, we're going to see more today. I haven't really seen all of them yet, but there was one back there that I saw just walking down here. So that's crazy to think that they're that old. And this was the capital. Was it now Bangkok? Bangkok's capital now. Well, the new name? Prontek Mahanakon. Prontek Mahanakon. <laughs> Prontep Mahanakon is now the capital, obviously, but this was the capital. That's crazy to think. very very new to all of the history about this so from my understanding the reason why this is in ruins is because back when Burma came they attacked the city and it basically ruined everything so they've got heads of Buddhas in the temple that we just went to see because apparently the Burmese came in and basically chopped the heads off all of the statues and the monuments um, as an act of their war I guess so they've preserved I think the heads and put them in that temple so that's why they are there but this is here because most of the things obviously that they had were destroyed and they were mainly made of wood so you can imagine in a fire that's what's going to burn and, and be completely destroyed but the reasons why this is still here is because they're stone so that's what's remaining you just can, still here <laughs> you can see that a lot of the things up there have actually been smashed so when the burmese came through as well it was like complete ransacking of the city and for a bit of history like it it, it wasn't uh, you, there was some pretty brutal stuff done so you depending on what accounts of history you read some people were whoever wasn't murdered was basically taken as slaves the people who actually still lived in this city people fled and they'd gone elsewhere but they attacked this city because it was the capital and if you lived here you either died or you were a slave or you had to get out so it's pretty crazy to think every bit of a smashed uh, monument that you see was smashed 500 years ago or 300 yeah, 300 400 years ago so for reference as well it was 10 baht for ties to pop in and it was 50 baht for foreigners so there is a cover 
charge or an entrance fee to pop into here. And Michael was just saying that this kind of reminds me of Angkor Wat, which is where? Cambodia? Cambodia. It's, it's obviously not the same because Angkor Wat's a big city, but just the, the feel behind it reminds me a lot of Angkor Wat. And I haven't seen that, so that'd be a exciting for me to say I, I love stuff like this I love like ancient yeah. ruins and things I studied ancient history in high school so I learned all about like you know Pompeii Herculaneum Egypt all of that stuff so this stuff really interests me to be honest with you Asian this Asian. wow that even looks like a yeah something's there yeah. was there like a statue of something look at that that's a wood up the head knocked off yeah look at that up there across the legs yeah whoa this is insane this is actually this this stuff this stuff is cool to me. Yeah. It's so sad to think about though, like just history. Okay, we knew it would happen, but the rain is just starting. I'm feeling the raindrops on me, so we might have to switch to the GoPro or something, but this place is just insane. I, I find it hard sometimes um, to get excited about the temples. Like now that I know sort of more about what it is if you go back and have a look at the silver temple tour i did um in my other video i link it on the screen and down below it gave me more of an insight into the temples and everything but this stuff especially gives me gets me excited like it well not excited because it's sad but this just really interests me but it's about to start raining i knew it would so we have our umbrella and our ponchos so you might see us in them coming up <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, it kind of really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just looking, and I think that over there is a Buddha head, and I think it was knocked off that one up there. Might be a little bit too big, but in any case, that looks like the head of a Buddha. And it's kind of crazy that you think that after, you know, so many years of being uninhabited, people would come back and find just bits of a Buddha head on the floor. Like, yeah, we're going to need that now. <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> on the camera. I'm all right to get wet, but this is really insane. And if you're anywhere near Bangkok, I think this is almost, I must say, this is really, really cool. really cool to see. Really cool. Wow, okay, so I'm pretty sure I spotted a Milo ice here at the front of the t temple's grounds in there, ruins. But if you're new here, which I think most of you are, I love Milo ice. I had my first Milo ice in Chiang Mai in ever in my life in Thailand, and ever since I have been addicted. So let's see if we have some Swadika, some Milo ice here. You have Milo? 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 Milo, yes, chai. Ah, uh, no, tea, Milo. Not cocoa. Um, yeah, that's okay. Kopunka. Oh, no, Milo. That's okay. Milo. Yeah. Thai tea. Thai tea. Thai milk tea. Yeah. Thai chocolate. Do you like Thai milk tea? Yeah, try one. Let's try one. Thai milk tea. Have a yen. Okay, yen. Thai king, no. Sorry. Sorry. No. From you. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Oh, Kapun Ka! Oh, Thank you! <laughs> I'm good Thai, yes! <laughs> We're gonna get a Thai milk tea instead, so you're right, we should maybe do a little, a little bit more traditional. So she's mixing it all up down here. Sodika, <laughs> thank you! Kapun Ka! Thank you! Okay. Yellow straw. Yellow is my favorite. <laughs> Always get the yellow straw. Always the yellow straw. Okay, so, so it's not Malo yen, but that's okay. I think we needed something a little traditional while we were here. And also, <gasps> puppies. Look, look, look. I also think that I love the puppies. The towns don't seem to be Milo, like the yes. smaller places that have Milo. Yeah, you're so right. Every time we've gone to like a small town or something, they don't normally generally have Milo. They have like Ovaltine. We went to Kanchanaburi and the same thing the happened. Whole town didn't have it. Whole town didn't have Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai didn't have it either. No one had Milo. It was Ovaltine or Coco. But we love Milo here. Tell me in the comments below if you like Milo or Ovaltine. Are you team Milo? Team Milo or, or are you team, team something else? <laughs> <laughs> team something else. Well, today I'm time milk tea right now, so let's try this one. <laughs> Oh, it is good stuff. It is good. It is good. Now, I think we have to go to the next one, and I think we might find some food, maybe some street food or something, because it's three o'clock in the afternoon and we haven't eaten anything today yet. So, let's go for a wander. Ooh. So, this one here is just across the road outside the gate of the other one. It's a big prong. 
If you can see it there, and it's on the sign there, it tells you what they all are. There's like Chetty, Stupa, Buddha, Prang, Pedestal and Walls. So it kind of tells you the difference just there. I'm holding up my umbrella because <laughs> it's raining. But that's it behind you. And we're kind of just walking around the outside of it, just exploring a little. And there's a beautiful garden or bridge over there as well. So it's a pretty beautiful place, to be honest. and the site we walked around the uh, there's like a big pond with lily pads all the way through it like it's so beautiful I've never seen lily pads I think in real life and the whole thing is just absolutely amazing and we walked around it and we found this like restaurant slash coffee shop we walked here it's right on that lily pad lake it's we're looking on it we're pretty much on the lake if we got any closer we'd be we'll be swimming with the lizards <laughs> at this point it's really beautiful so we've stopped here for some food i have a chicken with cashew nut and it was totally my fault i forgot to ask for my pen no spicy um so i do have some chili in there as well and i also have some sweat running down my forehead michael got the grilled chicken and we also got some rice to share as well so it's a really really cool local restaurant oh and i got an espresso yen <laughs> so We've just stopped here for some lunch. This looks, it looks amazing. It looks really Doesn't good. Doesn't the best. It looks, it looks so crispy. Let's give it a go. I was going to get this as well, but Mike got it so he can eat it for the both of us. How is mm. it? Honestly. Good. You can never go wrong with a little random restaurant in Thailand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. It mustn't be spicy unless you actually eat the chilies because that was fine. Really nice too, actually. I don't think you can go wrong when you're in Thailand. That's really nice. Try and go to the ones made for locals because the food will always be good enough. You very rarely have a bad local restaurant because if the locals don't go, the restaurant doesn't exist. Mm. So if you can identify when you come here, I know lots of people are planning trips right now because things are opening again and you yeah. might be watching this video. Try the place next door. Yeah, maybe off, you know. I know that's easy to say. Track. Easy to say get off the beaten track, but it's very true. And it's always worth it. Don't be afraid to stop at a local restaurant, but probably just have a look and see, is there a couple of other locals there? If so, it's probably pretty good. We did it on the way to Lempang and I got a hat. Yeah, he gave me a, he gave me a hat. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a massive lizard. Oh, he looks like a shark or like a crocodile. Oh, my lens doesn't zoom far enough, but that's so scary. He's right there. Looking big. Oh, oh he's right oh. He's so big. No. <gasps> okay, I'm going back up here. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say they were the biggest monitor lizards I've seen in my entire life. They were basically crocodiles and now I can tell why they evolved from them and don't try and tell me that they didn't because that was a crocodile I swear. That lizard was so big. Now we're um, walking down here and we're just trying to find a coffee shop and hopefully this leads us to it. Oh I love her. They all like kind of look sad and I just want to like hug them all. Just past there if you can see and they're setting up for I think the night time it's about almost five o'clock so they would be serving dinner soon we're gonna go there in a second but first we're gonna stop and get another coffee because I drink like five a day but that's the market over there we just happened to stumble upon it it's so cool look at this like look at these ruins right here just in the middle of the town just there it is a whole ancient piece of history so we just got to this really cute cafe on the side of this lake or pond. I got another coffee and Michael got a blue soda and it's beautiful. There's greenery, trees. This is a really good place for photos, but it's so serene. I really like it. It's really pretty here. So this seems to be the night market here in Ayutthaya. It's so busy. It's only like quarter past five 
Look at all, look at all these things. There's so many people here. There's fried chicken, there's fruit, there's pancakes. It's really busy and there's, it's just alive. This is cool, I really like this. We're kind of full from today and our food a little bit earlier, but we'll see if there's anything that we can pick up. I think that's squid or something. And they look like donuts. <laughs> They're donuts, I know what they are. <laughs> Michael's getting his uh, sausage pancake things that he normally gets at markets. <laughs> Everyone here is so friendly. 20 baht. 20 baht for some sausages. They're so cool. <laughs> I love it here. Everyone's so nice. I'd love to know the Thai name for these. Yeah, he, he loves these. It's like a pancake with a sausage in it, right? Tell us. Please tell me the name so I know what it is. So he I'd loves like, them. I'd like to be able to ask for it properly. <laughs> well, that's it for our day in Ayutthaya. We've had a really interesting day. I love small towns like this. I love coming to places like this. We're on our way back to Bangkok right now. We are going to get a car just because it's a little bit late in the day and we just want to get straight home. It luckily didn't rain on us, but we're wondering if it is going to. So we're just going to get the car back. There is a train, so it just costs probably a couple of dollars each way on the train, but our car cost us about 30 Australian dollars, so about six to 700 baht. Probably a lot cheaper and a lot more fun to catch the train. So keep that in mind. Now, if you liked this video, Video. I know you're gonna like my little trip time that I had in Kanchanaburi so I'm gonna leave that on the screen and in the description bar below so go and check that one out when you're done with this and as always like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye